He survived hurricanes and snowstorms, but can the one and only John Carroll make it on the stage of a big-time musical? Uh, John's jobs you won't want to miss coming up in the second hour of Good Day Alabama. I just want to hear him sing. I want to hear it, too. Stick around for that. We'll be right back. <laughs> Play makes John a new career. Maybe John Carroll joins the cast of Tommy and it's weeks John's jobs. That's still ahead. And I guarantee it, you don't want to miss it. He's hauled garbage. He's slinged hat. He slinged hash. <laughs> hash. Did I miss that one, John? <laughs> that was, uh, I don't know what I was doing. Sam. Right. <laughs> but hey, can John Carroll belt out a tune? You know what? We shouldn't say that. It's a speaking part. He's not going to sing. <laughs> but judge for yourself as John's jobs takes our weatherman to the musical stage. He looks very and serious. You know what? It takes a magic touch to be a wizard. John Carroll joins the cast of Tommy in this week's John's Jobs. That's just ahead. We're going to make you wait for this one. That's right. It's that good. One of the toughest jobs any person could have. It's to make others laugh, smile, cry. Actors have to do all three uh, with one or more performances each time. And it's a tough job also putting things together, not only just getting the show on, but also getting everything, all the pieces of the puzzle to come together. So today it's a Naturals John's job. I took a shot at being a crowd pleaser with the cast of Tommy. Putting up a play in a local theater is a lot of hard work. What people usually don't see is how all the pieces of the puzzle come together. But until you get involved, you'll never truly appreciate the total theater experience. Work on Tommy has started about a year ago when we first decided to do this and I knew that I'd be directing and choreographing. It started with a lot of research on what has been done in the past, where this came from, given that it was a rock opera in the 60s. Rehearsals for this particular show are a lot more involved. Choral rehearsals are an integral part of the developmental process of this production. But there is a lot more. It started with a lot of dance rehearsals, actually, and um, we've been working through the show piece by piece. Since it's mostly sung, there's a lot of musical staging going on. Now, when you, when you go around here any time, don't lose it back here. Really keep the same energy all the way around. There is Another aspect of the show is the technical crew. And this show has got its work cut out for it. The biggest hurdle right now is the technical aspect. There's a lot of um, uh, visually exciting things. There's the cyber lights and the pyrotechnics and the smoke bombs that need to go off at the right time. Behind the scenes, there is cutting. Piecing together, lighting, and splicing. There are a lot of conferences and a lot of prep work to get everything just so. This is a lot of hard work, and it takes a lot of time. I got it, buddy. I got it now. This show is going to be something. Uh, no, not humming. That's now, cold, messed up. it's time for my big scene. All right. Okay. I got it. Hillary. Yes. I think. Uh. Little boy. How about a small smile in celebration of this fine turn of events? Although I don't have a large role, it's an important role to the play, as each part is, no matter how big or how small. So I get my instruction. the two bars of music before And we run through the scene. Let's have a small smile in celebration. Once I've finished, it's time to get some notes. And a little scolding. Oh, I forgot that last line. Yeah. Okay. Well, nobody's perfect, but it takes a perfect blend of song, dance, and technology to get this show up and running. Needless to say, I'm very excited to be a part of this production. And I have a lot of respect for the cast and crew. That's right now, Tommy opens this Thursday at the Town & Gown Theater, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to have a cameo role the first <laughs> night. You saw almost all of it right there. Uh, but it is really, it's a, it's a large uh, a job to get this show together. They've been working on it, as I mentioned in the show, in, the, in the piece for over a year. For over a year. Yeah, as far as the planning stages and the rehearsal started back in uh, mid-December. So it's, uh, it's a big deal. Lots of technical things that you brought out in that right. piece, too. Lots of, this is a high-tech performance, and it's a large undertaking for the Town & Gown. And, of course, Tommy... You're going to be yeah. Tommy here to Birmingham. What can you expect for that? I think uh, 
ticket sales have been doing very well, and it's uh, it's well worth the uh, the price of admission. Again, and it I'm starts sure, Thursday. I'm sure you can boast, uh, boost those ticket sales, Jim, <laughs> with, you, with your performance, <laughs> your one performance in there. Yeah, I got uh, you saw most of it right there, but uh, we're going to talk about it again tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. Lorianne Craig, the director, is going to come in and talk about the the performance itself. Tomorrow. Okay, we're looking forward to it. And you yeah. you did not have any singing parts. You did have a speaking no, part. No, I uh, opted out of the singing scenario because I didn't want to scare anybody. Oh, well, I'm sure you've got a good voice behind that uh, tie. <laughs> no. <laughs> the tie makes it actually better. Actually, it does. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to your performance and keep us up to date on what's going on with yeah. that. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll let you in uh, on more stuff tomorrow as well. Okay, I'm looking forward to it, John. I'm actually going to get a front row seat so I can heckle you. <laughs> and. <laughs> And John Carroll makes his stage debut. We've told you about it a few days ago in the musical Tommy. It's the John's job you won't soon forget. Hear about the opening night and how it went. That's just ahead on Good Day Alabama. We'll be right back. Well, now I'm taking you back to last week. It's opening night. The performance of The Who's Tommy gets underway. The rehearsals are over. The tension is building. And what goes on behind the scenes of a large production like this? John's Jobs takes you there. It's a little nerve-wracking. Opening night, Tommy, the pinball wizard, is in Birmingham. The gifts are pouring in. The infamous break a leg is muttered throughout the stage while the cast prepares for the big night. What is not often seen is the time it takes to prepare yourself for the performance. Not only mentally, but physically. Lots of makeup, lots of hair preparation, and of course, the costume. I'm the judge in this show, and since it's set in England, I must wear the appropriate attire, including the wig. It's kind of a good look for me. Just before curtain, the director and choreographer, Lori Ann Craig, gives everybody a few notes. Then, it's on with the show. But what are these people thinking? All the rehearsals, the singing, the choreography, everything. This is what it's all about. But are there opening night jitters? Right now, upbeat, nervous, uh, a little scared, you know, for everybody. No matter how seasoned the veterans get, the first night you walk out there, and the heart's always beating, you're drilling, going. This is it. The show must go on. The cast has done a marvelous job getting ready for this night, but when you go on, there are no guarantees. All the work, all the time, all the energy, all the effort, everything. You get a large payoff. The audience loves it. That's right, Tommy was a big hit. A show well worth the price of admission. Right, man, that's a great show. My sitting Tommy's over, I only did it at the opening night, you know. Didn't stick there the whole time, I had to let everybody else do their stuff. But the show does go on through February 8th. It's at the UAB Town & Gown uh, Theater, the Clark Theater, actually. General admission is $25, senior citizens' tickets are $20. And if you want some ticket information, call 934-3489. And I'm telling you, it is well worth the price of admission.